Here's the liberal media's latest cheap fakes gaslighting about Camilla Harris. Now, it's crazy what they're doing. They're trying to handicap. They're trying to handicap us. They're trying to stop people from calling her out on her incompetence. Now, if we call her out on her incompetence and we call her incompetent, um, it's considered racist, misogynistic, all these other uh, labels they try to throw on people for exposing her for who she really is, how terrible and how how stupid, I mean, she really is. And they try to say, well, if she's so stupid, how she passed the bar? How she become AG, all these other things? Well, you can study enough to learn how to pass the bar. So, I mean, that doesn't mean that you, you're really that bright. Um, not, 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 um, not talking, not talking down on Kim Kardashian, but she passed the bar as well, right? So, so just because you passed the California bar, it doesn't mean that you're some type of genius and you're not, and you're incapable of being incompetent. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to talk a little bit about it. We're going to call the, um, the media out on, on their gaslighting. But before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button, share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon, and that's where I talk about things that I can't talk about here. All right, so let's talk about this news. Now, this comes from PJ Media's uh, Matt Marigolis, and um, he reports that a, a lot has happened recently, but it wasn't uh, all that long ago that the liberal media attempted to gaslight Americans into thinking that viral videos of Joe Biden's senior moments were so-called cheap fakes. See, they tried it, but it didn't work. We called them, I mean, everyone called them out on that. And it came, it came to a point where they could no longer defend it because we had video proof, unedited video proof. But quote, such deceptively edited videos known as cheap fakes has become staples of Republican attacks against the president, the Washington Post claimed. Who still reads the Washington Post after this? After seeing what they did with the so-called cheap fakes, who continue to read the watch the post it's just crazy but they go they go on to say quote in edited videos republican officials and allies of former president donald trump repeatedly tried to turn biden's normandy visit into a highlight reel of senior moments and missteps <laughs> i'm sorry it's hard for me to read this without laughing i'm aimed at showing the president as um inform infirm um addled out of his uh is his death trump who turned 78 on Friday, uh, has also repeatedly attacked Biden over his age and fitness and regularly shared videos of the president looking frail, the paper claimed. But an examination of video feeds from the events in Normandy, France, makes clear that the selected clips had been edited to present a particularly damaging and often misleading picture. Just lies. Just over two weeks later, Biden bombed his debate with Donald Trump which set off a firestorm of calls from both liberal media and Democrat Party and the Democrat Party for the Biden um, for Biden to drop out of the presidential race, which is finally which he finally did on Sunday. Now, mind you, Washington Post never corrected that article. <laughs> they never said, well, maybe there was some truth to these videos or anything to that nature. One might think that the media would have learned its lesson and started being more honest in their reporting. No, I'd never believe that. Instead, they're gaslighting us more by trying to spin Camilla's notorious word salads into something positive. According to New York Times, Camilla Harris is highly memeable. And that's true. It's tons of memes with her. Quote, the same unflattering supercuts and Photoshop jobs once used to denigrate Harris have now been flipped in celebratory artifacts of her candidacy. Reporter Amanda Hess insists before launching full throttle into accusations of clips being taken out of context and insisting that uh, what was long been fodder for mocking Harris <laughs> has become an asset to her campaign. All you have to do is just play her interviews where she can barely talk. I mean, <laughs> remember the pronoun one we all seen? My pronouns is she, my pronouns is she her. Um, I'm 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 wearing a blue suit. Like what? What? Who talks like that? But quote Camilla Harris is a highly memeable presidential candidate. She dances in a a loose and enthusiastic manner. That's not what makes it a meme. Hess um Hess asserts quote she has an idiosyncratic speaking style. 
<laughs> That's what it is. It's, idi- it's idiosyncratic. It's, it's not her not not mastering the English language. It's idiosyncratic. It's an idiosyncrasy, right? <laughs> she laughs easily. Laughs easily. She cackles, including at herself. This has not always worked in her favor. I think the um I think um her laughing is a coping mechanism is what I think it is. When she gets nervous, when she has a hard time processing her thoughts, when she doesn't have an answer, she laughs. Um article continue on by saying idiosyncratic. That's not the word I, <laughs> I would have used, right? When Harris said in a May 2023 speech, quote you think you just fell out of a coconut tree. A Republican YouTube channel snipped the clip from um, its context and tossed it into uh, co- tossed it to commentators who used it to compare Harris to a daffy talk show host or to joke that she sounded high. <laughs> she did. Um, it's, it, she sound drunk, really. Uh, it's a great. It's. A, I wish I could remember the creator name, but it's a great creator. She um. Uh, she looks Indian to me. Um, and she does, she sounds exactly like Camilla Harris and she talks like her and it sounds exactly like her and she sounds and looks drunk. It's crazy. But videos of Harris dancing at campaign events were labeled cringe. It was the, uh, stickiest anti Camilla, um, meme of the 2020 election that the former prosecutor Harris quote is a cop. United leftists, black Twitter and Republican trolls in an internet wide project of framing Harris as either a reactionary or a hypocrite. But it's true. We know that she locked up innocent people and she kept them locked up even though um um the Supreme Court told them to let told her to let them go because they had no reason to be in there. And then she locked up over like fifty thousand, I believe, fifty thousand men for marijuana stuff. Like she just because she needed the labor. She admitted it. She admitted it that she needed the labor to fight fires and stuff like that. Now, these images have been reversed. Since President Biden bowed out of the race and threw his support to Harris, the familiar old Camilla memes um, have risen again. It's their interpretation that has changed. In the hands of her online fans, Harris's word salad has been replated as hypnotic internet speak. What? Her confounding coconut tree quote, quote, you exist in the context of all in which you live and what comes before you, she went on to say, now circulates as a symbol of the giddy high produced by her dizzy rise in a a destabilized campaign. According to Hess, quote, all of it feels like a funhouse mirror to the online energy that vibrates around the other party's presidential nominee, Donald Trump. They're upset that not only conservatives and Republicans are against Harris, so are Democrats. So a lot of black Democrats don't want her as well. And they have a hard time selling her. So they want to, they have to get rid of these memes and speak on the memes because they are effective. They are destroying her. But um, the Trump fandom stands ready and willing to spin any potential weakness up to and including a felony conviction into a triumphant meme. The MAGA stamp prov- um, proves his loyalty and ingenuity by processing even the uh, gravest concerns into pro-Trump grist, thus uh, maximizing his satisfaction at triggering the left. It once seemed as if the Democrat Party could never produce a candidate who could inspire an internet response quite that powerful and strange. Now, in probably it has. No, it hasn't. <laughs> She is terrible. She is being memed into oblivion. But this article is a master class in wishful thinking. I don't think it's wishful thinking. It's just outright lying. Um, The Times wants us to believe that a few TikTok memes and and catchy phrases can redefine Harris's political career and sway the presidential race. Trump was able to turn his criminal conviction into a political positive because he was clearly the victim of partisan prosecution. Facts. I can't even imagine how clips of Harris having the incoherence of Joe Biden, but without the dementia, can possibly be spun 
as a good thing for her. But boy, the media is really trying. And that they are, and they will continue to try to make make us believe like she she's competent and she's not this terrible, dumb, dim-witted individual. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Leave your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe, and check out jjthepsychotherapist.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace.